should I start this episode off with bars or should I just get straight into the review I normally start every show with bars before I go into the review but because I start every show with bars before I go into the review I think I'll continue starting the show with bars before I do the review video up rebels let's get to it What's good Rebels? What's up? It's your boy CJ McGill back with another video for you today. Rebels, if you haven't done so already, new Rebels who are new to the channel, guys, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for our channel. I say it all the time. I try to say it every video, but this is not a channel for me. This is a channel for everyone who is a part of Rebel Gang, and this is just what we do, guys. We talk sneakers. I mean, we may start talking a little bit of fashion here and there, but for the most part, we just talk sneakers, you know, kick the shits a little bit and just have a good old time on this channel. Guys, so you already know, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, guys. Make sure you call, uh, watch all the other videos so that way you are caught up so you know exactly what we are doing on the channel, Rebels. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys, at Mac the Rebel. That's M A C T H E Rebel for Twitter, guys. Just put an underscore at the end of the name. All right, so Rebels, you already know what's up, man. You guys are smart. Rebel, everybody who's a part of Rebel Game, we're all pretty intelligent, all right? So you already know what's up, man. You guys already read the title. You saw the thumbnail. You read the description. Look, I'm pretty sure you did. Maybe you saw the tags on the video also. You already know what shoe we're talking about. Guys, this is a shoe that didn't get a lot of hype. Not sure why, because the shoe is, is it's actually pretty dope, man. Um, and Rebels, not to mention, this shoe is inspired by one of those college teams that has actually been doing really well in all sports, football, basketball, and many other things. But as we all know, the Dunk High is a representation of the hardwood, okay? This colorway, as many people thought that it was like the Wu-Tang rendition without the Wu-Tang symbol, but it's actually inspired by the Iowa Hawkeyes, okay? So, fam, with that being said, we are doing a review today on the Nike Dunk High Varsity Maze. Let's get into it. Now that we're back, you already know what's up. You saw the first half of the video. You saw the description. You saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. You've seen it all. Blah, 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 blah. Guys, we are talking about the Nike Dunk High in its Varsity Maze colorway, representing the good old Iowa University, the University of Iowa. Sorry, guys, if I'm getting it wrong. Not exactly sure which one it is. Your boy is from North Carolina, so I'm just going to throw it out there. But anyways, guys, thumbnail. We are talking about the Nike Dunk High Varsity Maze, all right? Let me go ahead and start it off by saying this. This shoe is very slept on. Not shoe of the year, it's not an ugly shoe, it's not the greatest shoe, but it's just really slept on. If you're looking for a clean black and yellow sneaker, gosh, go ahead and get your hands on this, especially a high top. It's actually really, really dope, all right? Now, the only thing before we get in depth with this sneaker that I, I'm not really feeling is that those, the, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but that yellow on the laces is like a gold color. There it is. So the yellow on the laces is more of a gold color and the yellow on the upper is more like a nice, like bumblebee, sunflower yellow type of thing going on as well as the sole, same color as the leather. Um, other than that guys, it does come with two sets of laces, a white pair and a black pair. So me personally, if you know if, if i'm able to get my hands on these in a size 11 and a half or a 12 personal pair for your boy of course i would go ahead and throw those black laces in there just to keep it real nice and clean that's just what i would do okay so you do have two sets of laces black and white but guys let me go ahead and tell you now that i have this shoe in hand and i'm getting a feel for it it is really really well done the materials on this shoe are super they're they're, they're great guys they're a1 all right so let's go ahead and start with the review family let's go ahead and get into that toe box all right, we got the, of course, those holes right there, like we see on all dunk highs for that breathability on the shoe when you're actively wearing it, whether you're gonna, 
I guess, play basketball in it or whether you're gonna skate them as well, you can do either or, okay? Let's go ahead and take it around the upper guys. So you have really, really clean black and yellow. Let me zoom out some. <laughs> you have really clean black and yellow panels. Um, the leather on this is a one okay there's not this leather is not cheap feeling it's really sturdy guys it's really buttery really really well done okay it's gonna let that light come down a little bit thank you all right so just so you guys can see this is the back right here we have that rip, rippled uh pattern like so on the back of the heel right here guys all right of course loop right here to help you with gripping the shoe and putting it on all right, clean stitching right here. Traditional Nike Dunk High Sole. Uh, that Dunk High Sole looks very familiar for those for my Jordan One heads out there. You guys should understand why that is the case. If you don't know your sneaker knowledge, man, just do a little research. I definitely recommend getting the Sneaker Freaker book review on that coming soon as well. All right. So, but yeah, guys, um, go ahead and take it up to the tongue. All right. Let's move these yellow laces out the way. We do have that traditional Nike branding. All right, this is a Nike Dunk High, not a Dunk High Pro, not a Dunk SB. It's just a Nike Dunk, all right? So that's why I probably didn't get all the, oh my God, it's a Nike Dunk, we gotta get it out. Now, of course, the shoe did sell out because the shoe is clean, so it does make sense. But yeah, family, nice white midsole right here to give it a nice uh, variation of color, I would say, black, yellow, and white. And of course, like we already talked about the sole, okay? So this is the pair right here, family. Now this is a size, what size is this? Size six in men. So if you are looking to get your hands on a pair, guys, definitely hit me up. Definitely hit that shop link that is in the description. I'm not sure if these will be up on the shop link by the time this video comes out, but it will definitely be up there eventually, okay? Here we are, family thumbnail make sure you guys are definitely um checking this shoe out I, I guys personally this shoe is nice man like i'm not like i said not shoe of the year not top 10 of the year might, maybe not even top 20 but definitely a, for a, guys for 120 dollars retail if you were able to get your hands on it and for not for a bad resale value either this is a shoe to get man this is a shooting this is a nice shoe to have in the rotation all right especially with the black and white laces that come alongside those gold laces now like i said before i'm not really a fan of the gold laces just because it's just the gold it just doesn't match the yellow and it just looks off to me um so me personally i wouldn't rock the gold laces definitely the black maybe the white but definitely the black for sure okay now what box does it come in very traditional plain red and white nike box okay it's actually a box that we're seeing with some of the sbs the tag does read nike dunk high sp black varsity maze nickname of the shoe varsity maze black and yellow okay all right so traditional box guys nike branding all around i'm sure you guys have seen this box numerous times nothing too crazy to see there is the tag right there so you guys already know nike dunk high sp uh size six in men all right so family that is mainly it for the review of this guys in the comments rebels you already know what's up let me know what you think about the nike dunk high sp in its black and yellow colorway okay did you guys get your hands on it did you hit on the sneakers app did you hit on any of the other foot sites that the shoe was available on did you win a raffle let me know how you guys were able to get it how are you rocking them me personally nike dunk high looks good on any foot okay um, one of my boys who actually works at the store i go to all the time the store every day <laughs> guys real quick the reason why i'm not saying the store's name is because i enjoy going in there peacefully knowing that a lot of you heads you sneaker heads aren't gonna be in there all right so don't ask me the name of the store anymore i'm tired of getting texts and dms about what's the store name don't ask i'm not answering but anyways guys like i said uh one of my homies who works at the store um he actually had these on foot and i must say the shoe i think he and i actually wear the the same size if not man i think we may be close to the same size but i saw it on his foot and that automatically made me be like okay this actually is a shoe that looks good on a bigger foot so any size guys size whether you're three and a half all the way up to maybe like a 14 or 15 you'll definitely be able to rock this shoe i definitely say go like maybe like a nice jogger a nice fitted jean that has a tapered um feel to it at the bottom or guys you can maybe even do like a nice cargo to go over the over the shoe or whatever the case may be i think this is a versatile shoe where you can rock it with many different pant lengths okay um, but yeah family that's it 
for the review of the Nike Dunk High SP Varsity Maze. Again, Rebels, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know how you feel about these, and we'll just keep it going from there, family, all right? So, family, Rebels, with that being said, it's your boy CJ Miguel checking out with another video. I'll see you in the next one, and we out. Peace.